My name is John Luke, and I'm an eighth generation chef. My father's a chef, my grandfather was a chef. It goes back actually to the 1700s. There it is. About five years ago, we decided to pack up and move from Florida to Costa Rica. A lot of people thought we were completely crazy, but we proved them wrong. I love being a chef in Costa Rica. When I worked in restaurants or hotels in the city, for example, say in New York City, all the ingredients come packaged like as if they came off of a shelf. And here I have so much more of a connection with those ingredients. It may be that I can see from the restaurant, since we have an ocean view, a school of tuna running. Or I'm driving somewhere and I see a mangosteen tree blooming. This is the number one tool in Costa Rica. Well, the thing that's incredible here is discovery. I mean, I might go out to a field and somebody might show me a fruit that I've never seen before. And I know a lot of fruits, this is my job. I work with different types of fruits every day. And to be able to discover new products is really nice. Mm, that doesn't taste good at all. <coughs> oh. We have a dish on the menu that we need coconuts and we go through probably 10, 12 coconuts a day. And my brother and I have a lot of fun going out to get coconuts. We've had to kind of get a system down so we can get in and get out as quick as possible. When I'm in position, Alex taps once. Got it. And when he's got the coconuts in and we're ready to go and we gotta get out of there, we good? it's the old two tap. Two tap and go was what we call it. Go. Good food is good food, you can eat it anywhere, but if the surroundings that you're in are as incredible as the food looks and the food tastes, it's gonna make everything, make the whole experience just complete. A little piece of Costa Rican culture. We're lucky, right now it's the feria, which is the fiesta, very similar to a fair except for instead of a ride that you get on, you ride the bulls. We're about to let the first one out, so we gotta get over there. You can hear him yelling in Spanish. Hey, we're getting hot, we're getting ready. We're getting hot, we're getting ready. It's uh, Pura Vida. Pura Vida in Costa Rica means pure life. To me, it's a, it's a great representation of, of the country and the people. Pure life. Oh, 